Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at why car lights come on but won't start. Why do your car lights come on but won't start? Cars always choose the worst time to break down. Several factors might be responsible if your car refuses to start, but the light keeps turning on. Whether or not the light is coming on, you should avoid turning the key for a long time as it might destroy the starter engine. This video will explain why your car won't start, but some other parts like dash lights, radio, headlights, and other electronics indicate that there is power. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Just because some electrical components generate power does not mean the car is in good condition. A battery on a low charge can run electronic devices like lights because they use little amperage. However, starting an engine requires up to 300 amps of power at once. A battery on a low charge cannot generate such. You can try to jumpstart it with another battery and see if it starts. Once you try that and the problem persists, it might be another thing entirely. Some of the things that could kill your battery are, 1. The headlight was left on for too long. 2. A wire is loose in the car. 3. The battery has used up its lifespan. 4. Your vehicle water component has evaporated. After you have attempted to fix the battery, but the problem persists, check whether a fuse is blown. If you do not know where it is, then pick your car's manual to discover it. Once you have located it, open it up and inspect it for a wire. If the wire inside the casing is burned or damaged, that is the problem. Power isn't getting to the starter. Damaged ignition switch. If nothing is wrong with the fuse, the switch is the third thing to check again. So many people mistake the ignition switch for the mechanical part where they insert the key, but the electrical one operates the mechanical part. Only a professional can diagnose this fault and also repair it. However, to be sure it is the switch, take notice of your dashboard and panel, move the key ignition to the second position, and if it doesn't bring up the light, the ignition switch is faulty. When your starter motor is faulty, it sometimes makes a clicking noise. If you hear a clicking sound after turning the ignition key, then it is possible that the vehicle's starter is broken. In other scenarios, there would be no clicking sound, and the starter just gets damaged. Some other symptoms of a broken starter are when smoke comes out of the engine or seeing oil under the engine. You might need to get a mechanic for a complete diagnosis. If your car has refused to turn over but keeps hearing a single click, you might have a faulty starter on your hand. Any problem related to the starter or starter relay is usually identified when the engine makes a very loud clicking sound. Once you turn on the car, it will refuse to start but just starts clicking. It may work if you try to jump start the car, but there is no guarantee. The one guaranteed choice is if you get a new starter. In addition, even if you jump start your vehicle and it starts, you still need to fix the starter, or else the clicking sound will be back. If it doesn't jump start, then you need to get it towed and fixed. If your car won't turn over, but you keep hearing rapid clicking, then the problem might be from the battery or alternator. It may be that your battery is dead or the alternator which is responsible for changing the battery is faulty. The source of the rapid clicking will be from the starter not having enough power. So, it turns on and then off, making that clicking noise. If you try to jump start it, then it might start working but not permanently. You will need a professional to look at it and repair whatever damage there might be. It might be that you will have to change the battery or alternator. The car won't start just by clicks, but the battery is good. If you are certain your battery is in good working condition but isn't turning over, then the problem must be from the ignition switch. To be certain your car is in good condition, you need to turn on your headlights. The battery is in charge of the headlights and dashboard. So, if the headlight comes on while the car doesn't turn over, you have a faulty ignition switch. Another probability is that you have a damaged starter. A starter is a device that is connected to the battery. It is responsible for putting the engine in motion as the ignition switch comes on. So, if it is damaged, the engine will not come on when you turn the key in the ignition. You will also hear a clicking noise or lots of noises as you are trying to start the car. Your vehicle's starter might be broken or very weak. It might sound somehow, but the truth is some people drive without remembering to fuel their cars. You should start here first. Check if you have enough fuel in the vehicle. Every car's manual is an instruction on how often you must wait to change the filter. When your filter is blocked or clogged, 
fuel will have hassles getting to the engine. In addition, if you are the type that usually runs out of fuel before refueling, then your filter will be worse. Before a car starts, it needs a spark from the fuel. As a driver, you might not be able to check for your car's spark yourself. You should take it to the mechanic who will do that for you. If your car won't work, but the light is working perfectly, then consider checking the battery, fusible links, fuse, and starter. These electrical devices need little power, like 20 to 30 amps, to work, while the engine needs very high power. So, it is possible that your vehicle's battery is down, and you need to get it fixed. In conclusion, this video has talked about many things that could be wrong if your car is not turning on. I hope it is of help to you. However, always make sure your car goes to the mechanic for a full diagnosis. Do not manage any conditions so that you don't cause more damage. This is all we've got in today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.